everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lindsay Tries It, where I, Lindsay, have set out on an adventure to push myself out of my comfort zone and try new things. A few months ago, I posted a video about me trying this prison burrito, and it was a combination of like ramen noodles and Doritos and pepperoni sticks. Really interesting. If you're interested in that video, I'll post a link or something so you can check it out. But I came across this video, this idea for this video, and I gotta say, it's I'm sticking on a bit of a trend or a theme right now, but it's really cool. So there's this television show that I really love watching. It's called Love After Lockup. And if you're wondering, you know, does it have equal parts trash, drama, outrageousness, you better believe it. Really interesting. I do think there's some good stories on there, but there's also some interesting stories about people who have met individuals while they're incarcerated or the person they were dating became incarcerated and how they navigate a love life while in prison. This is the second season of the show. Anyway, there's this character named Lizzie and Lizzie was in prison for uh, well over 10 years, I believe. And this whole time while she's in prison, she maintains this social media profile and she begins this relationship while talking to this guy. And at first she talks about how he was a trick and how she was using him to pay her money to continue her drug habit in jail. Um, I think it's later revealed that he gave her o over a hundred thousand dollars while she was in prison. You know, as you stumble on Facebook, sometimes you can get into a bit of a rabbit hole of videos. And I was on some, I don't know, some sort of, <laughs> some sort of video role. And I saw Lizzie's face pop up and it looked like she had started her own YouTube channel. But she posted one really interesting video about her prison makeup uh, routine. Right away, I had to check it out. And so today I'm also going to try and recreate that uh, prison makeup routine. Really, I just think this is so insanely creative. I'm always blown away by people being able to like turn everyday objects into all these different things and make it work. So I think it's super cool, super creative. Um, I, I definitely have not researched and seen if any of these chemicals or anything are cool, but I saw a video on YouTube, so I'm clearly a professional now. So I'll give it a try and um, like I'd probably suggest not doing this, but it's really cool. It's really, really cool. If you want to see the video, the original video with Lizzie, I will also uh, link that down below because you can listen to her firsthand experience and she's really interesting. Anyway, let's get started. So as per usual, I have a bare face. Um, so perfect to use, uh, as a canvas to put some new makeup on. First and foremost, Lizzie talks about how she makes eyeshadow. And I have to be honest, I've already tried this several times um, off camera because it is mind blowing to me how this works. So cool. So what she says is you need to get a couple magazines. So I picked up the hottest gossip a few weeks ago actually. So you know, this was April 8th. So you know, things have definitely changed. So you wanna pick a magazine page that is colorful, you know, that has nice bright colors, something that you would want to use as an eyeshadow. So for example, like look at this beautiful blue. Let's try. I believe when in prison, like buying magazines, those sorts of things, they could purchase in commissary, but they wouldn't be able to purchase things like eyeshadow. So you kind of had to use what you had, just like in the prison burrito, to recreate and make something new. So. I have this beautiful blue um, magazine page and you need a stick of deodorant. So here I have um, a degree deodorant. I mean, I, I think it doesn't really matter as long as it's kind of like probably a solid, I would assume. Um, anyway, so you're gonna take your deodorant and you're gonna take your, um, your page here and we're gonna combine these two. We're gonna rub a little deodorant on the blue. And it's, it, I mean, it, it's, I never even thought about this. And what you're gonna do is you're going to apply some deodorant onto the ink. So I'm just rubbing it in. Great, once you have, you know, like a pretty good layer, uh, using probably one of your fingers, you're going to rub that blue and deodorant together. And, oh, wait till you see this swatch. Why, what? what? Are you kidding me? 
like how ingenious is this look at this icy blue color it'll be hot to try it if you're rocking this let's try another page maybe you want to do black for like a smoky look or something <gasps> what pigment now i know it's straight up ink but that is to me just i would have never put those two together let me just mix up a few colors here L look look at that pigment it's it's pretty amazing and again creativity points out of this world uh health safety like i'm having to assume this is an ink so it, it it might die so i'm gonna be choosy with the color i choose for my application however after some research i think i'm gonna go with a nice brown because i think it will look really nice and um surprise i have hooded eyes so like if i just you know open my eyes you can't even see my eyelids so if it stains and i look weird tomorrow i can also just be like oh i'm tired that's why my eyes are dark anyway it's all prepped because obviously i'm crazy and i thought about what people will already say i'm putting a liberal amount on to this application and let me just bring you into zoom town here population you Wait. Wow, it's like, <laughs> it's that powdery finish, sm powdery smooth finish from my deodorant on my eyeballs. Thanks, deodorant. I need some, co I need some color. <laughs> oh no I feel like I need to do some blue because that really popped when I did my swatches we're just gonna darken that crease remember that makeup video I did see I'm just I've advanced so much in a year ooh so improved under eye bags sponsored by life so i got my eye my eyeshadow on now the next step we need a little mascara to coat these lashes so again um don't know if i would recommend everyone to do it but i'm already here i'm already started let me just keep going with this see if you if you like it okay for the mascara lizzie recommends a few ingredients we have um i opened just a little pod perfect a little pot of coffee in, uh, this would be like instant coffee yep Vaseline and a pinch of water so again items that perhaps you could you could get individually um, but couldn't purchase like a tube of mascara while in prison I'm gonna mix a little bit of the uh, coffee with some Vaseline and some of the water add a little bit of that's a lot of coffee maybe you you're making the mascara for all your friends too uh, okay i'm just gonna like spread it out because again <laughs> i get very distracted take some vaseline i don't remember the measurements so let's just go with the measurement i'm going to use here is like a fair glob i think you could classify that as a fair glob add a little bit of water okay so we are going to mix 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 oh my gosh that's why you should always just add a little bit at a time and don't get cocky i don't remember hers going like this so what you get is like this coffee my vaseline is cocoa butter cocoa mess um and again what we're gonna do is to apply it i'm gonna put some on my uh, q-tip i'm going to then use the q-tip to apply it to my lashes get over here come on back in It looks exactly what you're all thinking. Oh my God, there's a clump right there. <laughs> it looks so gross. So it's going about as well as I thought it would. And again, let me reiterate that I don't follow instructions very well. And um, these things I'm sure you kind of have to master. There's probably a technique, you know. So probably if you kept practicing over time, you'd get the right consistency. You'd get everything kind of how you like it it's super creative so finally i got my my oh i just felt some like wet i think i could probably have a little sip of coffee running down my face very soon um 
Oh my god, you could cry and you would just cry coffee. Probably actually not so good. So the last step is you're looking good, you're looking fresh, you got your eye makeup on, you need a little lip color. So I have here some um, powder drink mix. And again, I think Lizzie recommended using Kool-Aid. I couldn't find Kool-Aid at Walmart. I don't know what the heck's up with that. So I just have this crystal light. I'm hoping it works. It's just gonna be like a aspartame um, lip balm. So that's the only difference. Tear here. Oh, okay, that was helpful. And the lipstick is a little bit of the drink powder mixed with, I think, just the Vaseline. The drink powder's coming out white. Do you think, oh, for gosh sakes, do you think it changes color? Okay, so I found some uh, jello powder. This is strawberry, if you really care. Taking a little bit of that Vaseline, and again, we are working it into the jello powder. Got a little bit of the lip color. Mm-hmm, Moose. I'm gonna look so good last time, come on. A bonus to uh, wearing makeup like this, especially with the lip gloss, is animals and pets want to be around you more. Um, he'll make you believe he wasn't just like begging for my attention, but he was. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to check out the original vid video, if you want to check out Lizzie and how she actually pulls off a really, really nice look with her homemade prison makeup, then I will post that link down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I hope you stay tuned to see what I get up to next time.